Hi guys, thank you so much for watching The Royal We. My name is Kevin, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about this misconception about being discarded by the narcissist. Maybe you feel like the narcissist has discarded you, but you're a little bit confused because a year later, months later, weeks later, you might be getting some weird texts from them or phone calls from them. Maybe they haven't even completely left. They drive by your house, walk by your office at work. Maybe they show up on your social media. If not yours, maybe your friends. But nonetheless, it's kind of like they're saying, hello, I'm still here and you just can't shake them. So you're confused. Have they discarded you or have they not? Well, we're gonna talk about the truth about the discard right here. Okay guys, so before we can talk about being discarded by the narcissist, I think it's important that we talk about something else. And that's being regarded by the narcissist. Because if you can understand how the narcissist has regarded you in the relationship, it's gonna help you to understand how the narcissist has discarded you in the relationship. So what's being regarded all about? Well, being regarded is being admired, being uh, esteemed, being loved, being valued, being cherished, being honored, being respected, all these things. And we know that that's not the way in which the relationship was. That's not what the narcissist had for you. The narcissist did not show you any respect, any love, any value. None of that stuff. It's important to understand this because having these things is a conscious level exercise. You have to consciously choose to love somebody, to have compassion for them, to honor them, to respect them, to value them. These are conscious level things that people have towards one another, right? So if you understand this, then you'll also understand that discarding somebody is also a conscious level thing. It's from that same effort. You have to consciously discard somebody when you realize that they are no longer useful in your life. We're gonna talk more about this later in this video. So we've talked about Two conscious level exercises regarding somebody and discarding somebody. So you may be saying, well, Kevin, the narcissist has left and it hurt really bad, right? Well, of course it did. But what's really going on? What did the narcissist do? Well, narcissists only live to satisfy themselves. So honestly, the narcissist has not done anything differently than what they did when they met you. They're doing the same thing they've always done. Narcissists just mulch through this life, finding new supply. They go to where their needs are easiestly met. And when I say easiestly, I mean, if that's even a real word, easiestly, they're just looking for the easy way to have their needs met. They're moving on from you because they found their needs can be met more easily somewhere else. This is actually how they met you to begin with. They did the same thing when they left somebody else and met you. And at that time, you were open to them to meet their needs. And so what's happened in the relationship is you've gotten tired of meeting their needs. You've gotten tired of the arguments. You've got tired of, of just giving yourself and getting nothing in return. And it started to show. It started to come out in the way you talk to them. You started to wake up and realize this. Which, by the way, congratulations, it's about time. And now the narcissist sees that the relationship dynamic has changed, that you are starting to build a wall, that you are becoming more aware, that you wanna talk about what's going on. You wanna talk about serious issues. The narcissist starts to look at this as too difficult. The narcissist, narcissist is not able to have their needs met that easily anymore, so they're just moving on to find easier, quicker supply. You see, they did not regard you, and so therefore they did not discard you either. They just stayed the same, going into the relationship and going to find, you know, for supply and going to find more supply. Now, oftentimes when they leave, there are some key words that, that this goes by. One is called the silent treatment. That's what narcissists do. They give you the silent treatment. And that all that is is to play a game and to show you you're, being coming, you're becoming too difficult for me, so I'm going to go where it's easier or it's called ghosting. They just disappear for a while in effort to find their new supply. They're constantly just looking for new supply, right? So that being said, if you became, for whatever reason, open for the narcissist again, 
the narcissist would gladly take that opportunity. If you invited him back over to your house, him or her or whoever the narcissist is, if you gave in once again to their demands, if you engaged with them in arguing, if you invited them in to use your body or to give them money or whatever the case may be, whatever the narcissist got from you, if you gave that open invitation again, the narcissist would probably gladly take it from you. So if this is true, then you have not been discarded because it would be impossible for someone to discard you, but then yet find use for you. The narcissist did not discard you. The narcissist is just doing what they're doing, playing games. It's important to understand this. So now then, let's talk about the discard. What is a discard? Discard is to literally throw away trash, something that's not useful. So I want you to think about this with me. All the anger in your life, all the frustration, all the pain, the toxic relationship, everything that's built up inside of you right now, the crying, the anger, the hurt, this is all toxic waste that's built up in your life, it's built up in your heart, it's built up in your mind, the, the tension, the pressure. This is all stuff that needs to be dumped out of you. And now for the good part. When we talk about a discard, a discard is now a conscious choice to dump something from your life. I think you understand where I'm going with this, guys. The discard, a true discard, can only come from you. You have the power to discard. You have the authority to discard. Why? Because a discard is a conscious level exercise. You are consciously dumping the toxic waste from your life. You're letting it go. You're saying to yourself, I do not need this toxic relationship anymore. I do not let this need to, to allow this pain and suffering in my life anymore. I choose to dump it and leave it behind me. Leave it in the dumpster where it will never affect me again. This is conscious level discarding with purpose. Only you have the power to do this, guys. You have the power. You're the one that gives the true discard. And this only happens when you're able to tell yourself that you are done and believe that you are done. This goes into going no contact. Going no contact is not a game. Going no contact is not just something you do temporarily. Going no contact is actually a part of discarding. It's saying, I'm done. I'm done being called names by you. I'm done being cussed at by you. I'm done doing things for you and giving to you while you just take and take and take and do nothing in return. That is good. I'm done with you trying to put me down. I'm done with you trying to demean my character. I'm done with you trying to make me feel worthless. This is all toxic. And I'm dumping it. I'm discarding it. You are the one to discard. Guys, I hope that you understand what I'm trying to tell you here. I hope that you understand discarding from a conscious level. And the reason is, is because you regarded the narcissist from a conscious level. Something the narcissist was never able to do. You genuinely loved the narcissist. You put all of your effort into it. You gave that relationship all you had. Consciously. Something the narcissist never did. And so you have the authority and the power to discard the narcissist on a conscious level. So I encourage you to start to take steps and do that. Understand the need that you have and how important it is to discard the toxic waste from your life to dump it because you don't need it. And I hope this video has helped you. I hope that it was empowering for you. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and contact me. Uh, my telephone number is at the end screen of the video. Please keep the questions coming. I love your comments. I love the questions. And we'll be back with more videos on the Royal We. Hi, guys. Yes, thank you for watching The Royal We. I want to let you guys know that I am almost finished with the course. It's going to be available pretty soon, and I'm excited to be able to offer that to you guys. I also want to let you guys know that I'm thankful for all of your phone calls. You can continue to contact me. It's absolutely free. But for those of you who have demanded that you be able to give back in return, I want to let you know that I have put a donation link on my channel. So you're welcome to donate whatever you would like to donate to this channel. And you don't have to. That's completely up to you. Bless you guys. Thank you. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And we will be back with more right here on The Royal Wii. While you look at the camera, 
Just, you gotta stay looking at the camera, okay? Okay. All right, here we guys. go. I'll say hi, and then you say hi. No, no, no finger in the nose. You gotta be professional. One, two, three. Hi, guys. <laughs>